This is Challenges, my high-risk hardcore Iron Man that will take on your challenges as I progress the account and eventually unlock every single item from the wilderness. However, if I die, the series ends. In the last episode, we managed to obtain ourselves a Malediction Ward without dying on our hardcore Iron Man. And today, we are going to fulfill Rosin's request of going to LMS, buy ourselves a Ward Upgrade Kit, and use it on the shield for the Fashionscape. And we now have a Malediction Ward for Fashionscape. However, we need 60 defense to be able to wear this. So it's time to level up our defense. I completed Fremlic Isles for 20k defense experience, giving me 47 defense. Completed Shadow of the Storm for another 10k defense experience. And then I completed Monkey Madness for an additional 20k defense experience. I also finished off Holy Grail for an additional 11k. And there we have it, 60 defense. We can now wear the Melodiction chart. Look at that fashionscape. Look how beautiful it is. The magic bonus on this shield is amazing. Plus it has a lot of melee defense as well. But we're still not done with the wilderness shields just yet. We still need the Odium shard too from the crazy archeologist. So that's our goal right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was quick. Oh my, I've been so lucky with these shards. I'm done. I was stupidly lucky here. All the three shards right there. One, two, three. We didn't get a single duplicate Melodiction and we got three duplicate Odium shards. But man, I was under drop rate on every single boss in the wilderness. This will be our second and final shield created. Look at that Odium ward. I think I am one of the very few who has these both shields. I could be wrong. But as far as I know, there's only three people, including me, with both shields. And of course, we have to get the ward upgrade kit from LMS. This is how it looks without the upgrade kit. And this is how it looks with the upgrade kit. I don't know what I like. I think I like it without the upgrade kit more, actually. Just look at the stats on this shield. Plus 52 range defense and plus 24 magic defense. This is a great shield for tanking in case I get teleblock in the wilderness. I decided to get myself 55 fletching, unlock broader fletching with my slayer points, and then make myself some broad bolts for range training. It is time to start grinding slayer again. We got the Dagonite hat, but we need the top and the bottom. Crystalia, give me something in the slayer cave. Rogues. Oh yeah, we're skipping that. Fire giants, so we gotta skip that one as well. Hill giant. Oh my god, what are these tasks? Anku. Ankus exists. Yep, Ankus is a great task. I'll take what I said about Ankus back. This was a crappy task. Hey, 91 range. 68 Slayer. Oh my god, finally I got myself a Larence key. I've said this before, I'm saying it again. Mammoth task is my favorite task in the wilderness. Especially now that they have the party hats. Look at that. There we go, tasks have been completed. We got three keys. If you are a hardcore Iron Man or an Iron Man in general who wanna avoid PKers in the wilderness dungeon, you just gotta set up your cannon and stand in a place where PKers gotta run around. So in this situation, I will be able to see a PK running in from the minimap uh, and they have to run around the entire thing, so I will have plenty of time to teleport. All right, we got five more keys. Let's go up to Garok and uh, hopefully get something from the Laren's chest. We need the Dagon High top and bottom and something that gives us cash. We need some cash as well. I'm broke. Room for lamps, that's good. Cash. Another Dagon I had. Poison potion, do you want this one? I got a duplicate for you. And cash, great! I mean, it's a great chest! I'm not too used to saying this, but based on the, my chest kill count, 28 in total, we got two pieces. So I think I've been pretty lucky on this account. This is the golden account where I get everything. I got lucky on the shields, I got lucky on the Dagonite pieces. You know, it's a great day. I decided to complete a few quests, Family Crest, Shield of Arav, and Heroes Quest. All these quests were completed so I could finish this clue scroll and get myself a casket for absolutely nothing. All right, it is finally time to do the medium wilderness diary on this account. We got a total of nine tasks to do in the wilderness. Let's begin. We have to enter the wilderness dungeon. 
We had to kill a blood belt. We had to get some U logs from an ant. We had to open this muddy chest in the deepest of the wilderness for absolutely nothing. We also had to complete one lap of the wilderness agility course. Wait, is that a peak air? Look at him! Is he gonna log in on me? Oh, he logged out? That's the first PK I've seen. We have to make ourselves a golden helmet. We also have to mine a mithril ore. Final task is to charge an earth orb. There we go. Congratulations, you have completed all medium tasks in the wilderness area. Speak to Lesser Fanatic for our reward. By talking to the Lesser Fanatic, we get ourselves the wilderness sword number two. And a unique antique lamp. And this lamp, we're gonna put it on Herblore for 7.5k Herblore experience. In the next episode, we might be completing the hard diaries. Probably not, we still don't have the levels. Um, but it seems very easy, so... Potentially, potentially. I have been AFKing on this exact tile for the last one week. And we got the requirements now to enter Warriors Guild. And we're gonna get ourselves some defenders. The drop rate to obtain a defender up to rune from a cyclop in the warriors guild is 1 in 50. Bronze defender took me 116 kills. And there we have the iron defender took me 85 kills. Steel defender 25 kills. 18 kills for black defender. 17 kills metal defender. Addy defender 43 kills. 4 kills for the rune defender. And there we have the final dragon defender took me 92 cyclop kills. Beautiful. Back to Wilderness Slayer. We got one task completed. Might be an unpopular opinion, but these deadly red spiders... I think they should drop noted red spider eggs. Just my opinion here. 79 strength. Another great Slayer task, and if a PK comes, they gotta run from this entrance. They can't teleport from the distance, so they gotta run around, around these rocks. And then they can hit me, and by then... I will be long gone. Oh well, oh well, oh well, we love to see these. Laren's key number one. Alright, a big level coming in, 69 Slayer. That is one of the requirements for Monkey Madness 2. And you'll know why this quest is very important for me in, uh, in the future. As much as I love Wilderness Task where I don't see a single peak here, it's sad to see Wilderness so dead. I think it's a good thing to go up to the Laren's chest every five keys. Just check our luck and then continue slaying. Uh, I think this is one of the worst keys. We still got the Renner seeds, which is a great item though, but the rest, nah. Revenants. Ooh, now this is exciting. I love the Revenants. Right, let's go. Rune plate body. That's a big high off. 38k. What the hell is this? This gotta be a tro- What? What the hell is- Brass key? Nah, no, it's gotta be a troll. Oh, oh, look at him. He's watching me. He's running around. Oh no, he's following me. Is he gonna PK me? Oh no, he came around! Oh, this is a big draw. Oh, oh, oh. Dragon plate skirt. This is a tank item. I should not even put it in the looting bag. In case I get PK here, I'll just put it on. I can wear this. Beautiful. Alright, our looting bag is pretty much full now. We got 800 in the looting bag, a lot of high alts, and that does not include the dragon plate skirt and one more bracelet of Ethereum. Yeah, I think we got a bank. Good trip, good trip to the Revenants. Alright, we do have three more keys here. I feel pretty lucky about these ones. No, I was wrong. I get a lot of dragon arrows tips for some reason, and dragon high. No, gold ore. Alright, we got ourselves a casket. Uh, we're gonna open this one real quickly. And from the clue casket, we do get ourselves... I like the purple sweets. Ancient blessing. Any other blessing would have been good, but not the ancient one. Oh no. How the hell? Oh no, it's over. Oh 
Oh no, this uh, game is over! It's over! Good fight, guys! Good fight! Challenges is dead. I wasn't even focused. Oh no, another hard crime and it's out. Oh no. What happens now? I was so slow with the tablet as well. But you know, I, I don't feel too bad actually for dying. I actually don't feel too bad. We died to PK this time, we didn't die to PVM. I just wasn't focused, I was looking at another screen. We just got to fun content as well. I lost my Odeon ward. Ugh. The thing is, I hadn't seen a single peak here in the Slayer Cave for many, 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 many hours. I don't think you guys realize how many hours I've been here without anyone being here. And just suddenly someone comes and scouts me down. The reason why I died is because I did so many things wrong in this clip. First of all, I was not standing in the right tile. The peekers didn't have to run around to catch a TB on me. Instead, they could just shuck a TB from the entrance. A uh, bad mistake from me. Second of all, I was typing in Twitter or Discord, I can't remember. So I wasn't really focused and I didn't have my mouse on no. the teleport. Two major mistakes from my part and for that reason, I died. And one, one thing that really surprised me is the fact that I asked for off tags. <laughs> Why did I even ask that? Um, but yeah, that's uh, that really surprised me. There's not really too much I can flex on this account. We did reach rank 6 Chaos Fanatic, rank 8 Scorpia. We did unlock 14 Wilderness Unique items. The most notable ones were the Ancient Crystals from Revenant Caves, 2 Dagonite Hats and the Malediction and Odeon Ward. And if we talk to Hans, we can find out that we have spent 51 days in game. Since we arrived 169 days ago. But dying on a hardcore Iron Man is not really the end of the world. If I ever decide to remake a hardcore Iron Man, it's gonna be a PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. But I just wanna give a massive thank you for everyone who have been watching and enjoying this series. It wasn't the greatest start to the year, but the year can only get better from now on moving forward. And with that being said, dying on my hardcore Iron Man completed.